specifically all plus 30 uh, in, in their stretch. What, what did that tell you about how they played and, and then kind of the flip side, just the, the unit that was out there without LeBron and, and Austin and Rui uh, and kind of as Memphis got back into the game some? I mean, just the balance, uh, making sure we, we, we uh, were keen on our assignments with that starting group and obviously the balance offensively that is in that group. Um, you know, Jackson did a great job, you know, subbing in for A. I didn't really like the fact that he only had one rebound. I'm sorry, seven rebounds. I'm looking at the assists. My apologies, Jackson. Uh, but that that group uh, that really set a good tone. And then as we came in, I thought we let uh, the whistles or lack thereof get the better of us mentally. Um, some guys were playing downhill, thought they got hit. Whether you think so or not, whether they call it or not, you still got to have a next play mentality as tough as it is. Um, and they were able to make a run. You know, they drew some fouls, they hit some threes, and, you know, they chopped into a lead that we had established. But all in all, coming off last night's game, double overtime, it was a tough win, uh, especially playing against a tough, fast team like Memphis. Uh, it's got a lot of shooting. They, you know, throw up a lot of threes. I'm just proud of our guys that we were able to hang on and pull it out. I, I suppose the some of the focus on Rui, just the shooting night with the seven threes, but second straight double-digit rebounding game. Yeah. Did you challenge him specifically? To, Absolutely. Okay. Yeah, I've, I've, I've been on him all year about rebounding more, being active on the glass, being an active defender, um, and not leaking out. You know, he has a tendency to want to take off running, assuming someone else is going to get the defensive rebound, and, he, and it stops him from participating. But... He's, and to his credit, you know, he's heard us loud and clear. I'm not the only one telling him this. His teammates, the other coaches um, are all delivering the same message, and, you know, he's responding well to it. You, you told us, I guess, last night that LeBron coming off the Indy game, the ankle was bothering him, so it needed some time. Um, but this is another example of where it seemed like he had a little extra pop or movement where there was a, a chance for the schedule to give him three or four days. Is that something that you guys have to kind of take into account as you think about managing him for the final nine games of regular season? Well, we go according to how he's feeling, obviously, and what's going on with him, and we just take things one day at a time. That's all you can really do. Um, that's it. I mean, there's it's, it's no more to it. Uh, just the communication between uh, Mike Mencius, you know, along with our, the rest of our performance team, and uh, myself and RP and, and, and Brian himself, and obviously it, it's all predicated on how he feels when he wakes up in, in, in each day. So we just, you know, put our heads together and come up with, with a solidified, unified plan, and it's worked out, and it's something we'll continue to do. Darvin, uh, two for you. Um... In terms of AD's hyperextended knee, did did he get any imaging or anything like that? Was the or is and no. is the hope is the hope that he'll be back Friday? Yeah, we'll see. We'll see tomorrow. Um, we'll see how it goes tomorrow when he gets up. Okay. And then um, with Rui, uh, I remember last season LeBron kind of saying a bunch of times like when he knows what his job is, when he knows what his role is, that's when he's at his most comfortable. <laughs> how do you think you know him just kind of like being cemented? into the starting lineup has, en has enabled him to find his spots, find the places where he can impact you guys, and, and how valuable do you think he's been as you guys have made this push now to nine games over 500? I think he's been extremely valuable. He was, <clears throat> excuse me. And, it, yeah, clarity always helps performance. Um, and so us inserting him into the starting lineup, it, it gives him a chance where 